Hello and welcome back to another Lamplighters League guide. My name is Heiken and today we're looking at the class guide for Latif the Agent. Latif is one of the standard agents that you will have in any playthrough. He is a great tank in the later parts of the game and at the beginning he's kind of more like a sneakster trickster. Um, I will go as always over his main skills that you should watch out for, a couple of build options with uh, the right equipment and the right cards and then finally we're going to look into his gameplay and how he really plays. So Latif is a bit of an oddball because you need to get going on him. His kit itself doesn't automatically allow you to win the game unless you uh, help him with the right equipment and the right cards. So let's take a look at Latif's ability. His passive ability is when he moves, he gets an evasion stack um, and he does have an ultimate uh, which creates a decoy and allows him to move afterwards. That decoy has the same hit points as Latif and will be priority target for the enemies. So the beginning of the game will be a lot around uh, creating decoys moving using evasion uh, in order to bait enemies to hit you and then shooting back with your pistol. Uh, you will experience situations where Latif just doesn't have enough ammunition at the very beginning of uh, the game and it becomes frustrating. However, stick with it because he will become better. So, the thing about Latif in the end game uh, or in the later parts of the game is he's actually a really decent tank if you know what you're doing. And the main ability in order to do that is called Distract. What Distract does is it's a debuff ability that applies blinded on all enemies and they begin to be uh, um, attracted to him. It says here they are prioritizing attacking Latif, but it's effectively a taunt. In the upgraded version later down here, the AOE will be an AOE circle of six, which typically can put in between uh, four to eight enemies into that circle, really allowing you to put a lot of pressure on it. The problem with Distract is it has a four rounds cooldown, so you need to be able to um, effectively reduce those cooldowns but fear not we do have options to do that so that is his bread and butter in order to get attention but now Latif has a problem because he has attention and oftentimes not enough defense so what are you going to do about that great question invisible strawman let me tell you what we're doing about it the second ability is called slippery uh, which means Natif gains one evade stack whenever uh, he is hit by a crit and that combined with yet another ability that uh, you should uh, be aware of which is running shot uh, where uh, other uh, evade uh, stacks can be gained uh, will allow him to really build up additional evasion uh, stacks so uh, running shot is an ability that uh, does have i think a two or three rounds cooldown allows you to hit and then move afterwards or respectively you move and part of the movement is the shot now keep in mind his passive ability already was gaining an evasion uh, stack whenever you move so here it says a hit and run deals uh, damage and uh, creates an evade stack on latif you gain the free movement action if the target dies he gets an additional uh, evade keep that in mind because that's actually important so in a perfectly uh, executed maneuver, Latif would uh, start with a Distract 2, and then um, others are dealing damage to the enemies. Latif then kills an enemy and moves. So that in itself would allow him to gain a stack for this uh, shot alone, another stack from um, moving, and another stack from uh, killing uh, the target. Pro bonus there is uh, he has another passive ability around stacks so the enshrouded ability is the third one besides um, uh, the slippery ability the running shot ability the enshrouded one um, is is the third one um, or sorry the blind side is the third ability that in this combination is important because if he attacks a blinded target he gains another evasion stack so really what happens is you blind everybody then others deal damage you use running shot and uh, you would gain a stack for running shot a stack for killing a stack uh, for moving and a stack for blind side where when you attack a blinded target you gain one evade stack so that's four evasion stacks 
that means all of the say you have eight enemies there uh, seven after the first one died all of the seven enemies attack you four of them will hit into evasion and if uh, Latif ever gets hit and crit he would uh, get another evasion stack so the worst thing out of seven is basically one hit uh, that uh, that could happen to you incredible tanking ability but it requires that combination to go off on top of it Latif does have uh, unshakable which allows him to whenever he's missed uh, negate incoming stress later it also allows uh, him to mark the targets and later his cooldowns are reduced by one uh, the enemy becomes uh, marked and he reduces stress so really what you want to do and that is the in uh, inept uh, cooldown reduction is you distract a lot of enemies they will take shots at you you're trying to kill or at least hit one with running shot then they shoot at you you're reducing stress all of them become marked and on top of uh, that uh, your cooldowns are reduced for the next round rinse and repeat that's kind of his core gameplay mechanic if things are going to become problematic you are using decoy uh, that is 220 hit points he's in a cloud of smoke uh, which on top of it uh, when he attacks out of it will give him additional evasion stacks and everybody will attack the decoy just to give you enough time to to reset what you were doing so that's the core gameplay loop of him Moving on to equipment and to cards. Latif, since his core tanking ability is quite solid in what he's doing, in my opinion, needs to branch out into other things. And there are plenty of options how you could do it. You could solve his ammunition problem to give him uh, the bandolier and uh, just let him shoot more often. Or you're doing what I'm doing, which is really put him more into a supportive uh, role. So my Latif uh, is coming with uh, the ability to actually act as a proper healer. And on top of that, have a few nice little um, extra um, crowd control items. So uh, Thunder Bombs work very well uh, with Latif, allowing him to also knock down enemies that aren't taunted by him. I tend to use grenades um, uh, very freely with him because that allows uh, Latif either to deal more damage, uh, apply status effects or whatnot. So that is really a decent combination. Not needed, but uh, definitely helps him whenever his cooldowns are down. As a accessory, I went with a Magdalite Charm, which not only increases hit, his hit points by 50, which is very good for Latif. You can see my Latif comes in at almost 300 hit points, but it also allows once per mission to fully heal uh, anyone in an AOE a radius of three, allowing to recover, almost giving him that extra healer capability. My Latif comes in uh, with a vitality gear. You can run it with whatever you want, but those extra hit points and the extra stress come in handy. And I personally like to run him with ammunition talismans. Uh, the ammunition talisman 3 gives him extra ammo plus 10 damage because his problem is his weapon only has 4 ammo. And if you repeat the core gameplay loop, which is blinding and then uh, moving shot, that always drains one ammunition. And at some point after four rounds, you kind of find out that you will need to reload. But not with the ammunition talisman, uh, that problem is solved. In terms of um, undrawn hand cards, uh, I personally uh, gave him the Herald, uh, which does apply not only the inspired buff to anyone, but also removes their deep uh, debuffs. And since uh, anything above level three refunds the uh, AP costs, that's a very strong way of giving him a free action to buff everyone. That combined with the um, companions, whenever you're using a buff ability, mind you, uh, your own evasion or buffs abilities as well. The target teammate heals stress and the agent has a 50% chance of ability cooldown reduction. Just a very, very nice additional card. Allows him to gain his cooldowns back faster and to heal stress on other agents. And then finally, the conjunction, uh, which is super strong together with the Herald. Whenever using buff abilities, this agent has a 75% chance to regain one um, action point at level 5, even 100% chance. And all of the other agents have a 
25% chance to regain uh, one a uh, AP per round. So this is an option for him to also give everybody more uh, action points. So this Latif, as you can see, comes in with a very wide set. He tanks uh, very well, can reduce his own cooldowns, uh, does have healing capabilities, does have additional crowd control capabilities, buffs everyone, and on top of it um, is helping to generate extra AP. So you can build him really solidly. Let's see how that solid build plays out. And we're moving into the gameplay for Latif. So we have found ourselves in a situation where enemies are uh, approaching us from one direction. We want to uh, destroy the generator here. Latif started by using the Herald and thanks to his card combination he got himself an extra AP. So we're uh, up to 3 AP. We can see uh, his teammates went uh, in over here. Now, really, let's take a look at the core game uh, game loop that you would see. So for starters, we're blinding all of them and provoking them into attacking us. That in itself already reduces their um, ability to, to deal with the situation. Secondly, the thief is uh, hitting with a nice little crit against uh, that exposed enemy. Um, and gets a bonus move. We're moving very prominently over here, uh, building up um, evasion stacks as we go. For both of these characters here, um, they are flanking us, so we are either now starting to um, slowly but surely take them down, or alternatively we're using one of our consumables, since our tank is immune to fire, might as well put these guys onto burning. Maybe not the best uh, portion because the enemies were uh, being on a wet spot, but you get the, uh, the point uh, mm, of what should have happened. You can see every single enemy is trying to approach Latif and is basically trying to get them down, but nothing is happening. So in the follow-up round, uh, mm, what we're going to do is we're continuing to buff everyone um, as part of the Herald, uh, we are gaining uh, AP on several of the characters. Latif himself in this case got one as well. Uh, we have cooldown reduction, so this time we're using the <laughs> cooldown reduction to basically provoke and blind both of these characters. The blinded character isn't as great in using... Um, uh, in using overboard shots as you would think so let's take a shot break the overwatch you can see another nice little crit for over 125 points of damage moving over here we're getting yet again two um, evasion stacks one for hitting a blinded character one for moving and if we had killed him we would have gotten a third one out of that Finish him, get that extra blind side, uh, side stack, and we're now up to three stacks. So that's really the gameplay loop. I could have used another thundering bomb as well up here in order to, uh, to bind the characters. But you can see that against normal attacks, Latif just has a very strong action economy and continues to uh, tank everyone with uh, their um, evasion stacks. So. Overall a great build. I hope you liked Latif and his uh, build guide. If you did, leave a comment and a like down below and let me know what you like about his build in particular and if I could have improved anything. Take care and see you on the next episode. Bye bye.